Nick Generakis, this interview was awesome. I love talking to you how you joined the community and you started joining other people's team because you had limited time. Guys, as you listen to this interview, understand that you don't have to be the one doing all the work and putting the shoulder or shouldering the weight of all the burden. You can join other teams and make six figures. Listen to this interview with Nick Generakis as he joined the teams of people inside our sub two community. I've got Nick, okay, and you'll never guess how to say his name. If you read this, the spelling of this thing, it's T-Z-E-N-E-V-R-A-K-I-S. It's Generakis, is that correct? That's perfect. Nick Generakis has been in Sub2 since last year, and he is doing something very unique, something that I think a lot of people should be doing more often is that they have a limited schedule, and so they choose to bring a different value to a team than what you typically hear on YouTube and these other influencers talking about. So Nick, what are you focusing right now inside the community? So I'm focusing on lead generation um, from two avenues. One is through LOI blasting. Um, we're using the Myron method. If you guys haven't heard of it, you should look it up. It's it's killer. Uh, and obviously there's levels to how to use that tool. Um, and then I'm also in charge of all the JV opportunities with our wholesale team. So I'm the interface between anybody that's new or anybody that just needs help with dispositions to uh, bridge all that communication and help get deals um, sold or to the finish line if that's what you need. Last year, the Sub2 community did $5 billion in transactions, creative finance transactions just in one Discord server. That's not including our Facebook group or other places that we connect as a community. You wanna join this community. I promise you this interview that you're listening right now has changed one person's life, but it can change your life too. Come in, join the community, go to joinpacescommunity.com. I wanna see you in there and I wanna see you in that Discord server exchanging deals with me. Okay, cool. So you've got Myron Briley who you know, his story, him and Carolyn's story, they were in the bigger pockets world, in the forums, reading the books, going to the seminars, and then they joined Sub2 in September of 2022. I invite them to come spend a, a week at my house. So they brought themselves and their two kids, and I built a really strong relationship with them. In their first year, they did 70 deals. They'd never done a deal before. And I really asked and they, they, they stood up to the plate. I asked them to become leaders inside the Dallas or the Fort Worth area. And they've done such an amazing job becoming leaders, building a team. And Myron, the Myron method you're talking about is basically doing LOI blasting. You're blasting out so many LOIs and getting so many um, leads by having agents or brokers reach back out to you based on your guys' LOI. So Nick, on the team, what are you doing specifically on that team? Are you the one that's blasting out the LOIs on that part of it? So um, me and my partner, Dwyer, are running everything that's CRM related and on the front end. So um, I do all the list pulling, um, set the criteria, um, run some filters through it. Dwyer builds all of our app scripts for handling the data and prepping it and getting all the, the stuff out of there that you don't want. Um, and then, you know, obviously there's hours of generating LOIs. It's a web based thing. It's not like you can just have more RAM on your computer and just, you know, do it instantly. Um, but we've figured out ways to do all that remotely from our phones at work, right? So wow. we use remote access from our phones. So while we're at our W2, we're, we're hitting the generate LOIs and all that. And then we, um, <clears throat> I review all the KPIs for the mail open rates, replies, um, write all the email copy or subject lines or um, text follow-ups. And then I also run a weekly meeting with our acquisitions team who's actually talking to the agents. I don't talk to them anymore started off with me and Dwyer just doing it. And now we have um, the gorillas have an acquisitions guy that's full time doing phone calls with agents on these. So anything that doesn't fire right or does something weird, I'm sort of the, the glue that commu communicates to everybody on the team what needs to happen and maybe how to change it or you just brainstorm ideas. I love it. So you are basically running the team member avatar where you say, look, I just wanna plug into a team find out a unique capability that I have and amplify what that team is already doing so that I can participate and not only participate financially, but also um, gil, uh, gain skills and then compound those skills into one day you saying, all right, I'm going to run kind of my own thing. That might be a year away. might be two years away. Who knows? Or you might continue to, to partner with Dwyer and Myron and all these guys. Um, what does the year look like for you guys? What kind of deals are you primarily looking for? Are you looking for multifamily? I know Myron and, and Carolyn really love multifamily. I'm a partner with them on a 30 unit. 
Are you guys primarily going after multifamily or are you doing single family? Right now, we, we're really strong in a single family. However, one of our goals this year is to go into multifamily. And it's funny you mentioned that because last night I just had a you know hour long talk with our second acquisitions guy we're going to use for multifamily with the Myron Method system. Uh, he's also on our team and we just built the infrastructure for launching that LOI campaign and how we're gonna reach out to them using AI callers and texting. So we're launching multifamily this month and the goal is to start getting some <clears throat> some of those bigger assignments under our belts, right? Um, you know, spend more time on bigger deals versus doing a bunch of small multi uh, single family. I love that, bro, I love that. Um, what would you su suggest to people? Cause you obviously found a different path, like Memorial Day, you kind of got into the community you found this path. How did you find this path? And what would you su suggest to people that are trying to get started? Right. It's tough because I have these conversations every week with people that want to know um, how I got to where I am. And it's not going to be the same for anybody, but I think persi being persistent and um, looking for the thing that you like, first of all, deciding what you want and then looking for it. I was looking to join a team because I realized the gap in my knowledge uh, and to where I wanted to be, like to do it all by myself. I was very confident I could. But it was going to take me so long working so many hours and not having the time to invest in actually doing the thing in real estate as much as I am just listening to, you know, the Zoom vault. Um, and I saw somebody post that they wanted somebody in acquisitions. And I thought, well, that'd be great. Like, I can do that. Well, <clears throat> I talked to him and his name's Nick Pedrick. So shout out to Nick Pedrick. And he was like, bro, you don't have enough time. You can't be on acquisitions. I'm like, you're right. So what am I supposed to do? He's like, well, what if you bird dog for us, like try to find some deals and then we can teach you what a good deal is and how to underwrite and move them forward. So that's what I did. And it took a long time to find a good deal that way. But once I started learning how to disqualify leads very quickly, then I could get more leads in faster and get more deals. In doing that, I realized the value in what Myron was doing. And that's when it was like, oh, let's just combine all of this and push it all through our team because there's so much talent here. Um, and so that's the value I brought was bringing in Dwyer and a operating system that's bringing warm leads to our acquisitions guys that are hungry to do more deals. Right. And uh, we're also like minded. I knew right away that we were going to work. You know, I have many years in uh, 12 years of manufacturing and I've seen a lot of teams fail and I've seen a lot of really great things happen. And just the culture that Nick and Mike and Dom have on the team led me to believe that no matter what I do with this team, it's going to move all of us where we want to go. We have our visions are aligned. The energy is good. Um, so what I did specifically wasn't as important as getting me to my immediate goals, which is um, more deals to get more money so that I can free up myself from the W-2. And then, you know, we can move on from there. How much money do you think you can make in your position this year um, just doing what you're doing now? Oh, I'm pretty confident that uh, six figures. I mean, it, it, if we don't clear six figures, we had a some sort of fun, me personally, it has to be some sort of major error because we just ramped up. And I mean, like my goal was twenty thousand dollars by the well, my 12 week goal is um, by the end of March, to have twenty thousand dollars. And at the rate we're contracting properties and things are moving, like I think that before February ends, we'll have that much in escrow. So. And that's not taking into the consideration the growth, right? That's just steady state. That's not touching multifamily. That's not touching expired listings. That's not touching cash deals. Um, and so you add that stuff in there. I don't know how to project it, but we, I have to clear six figures. There's no way. I freaking love that. I love that. Um, now, you guys probably need more warm leads in your business from outside people. Now, we obviously have a lot of people outside of our community that listen to this podcast. And they're kind of on the outside looking in going, man, I wish I could be in that community. Um, we, we obviously know how great the community is and you have an amazing team and all that, but somebody outside the community, how can they bring value to you? Is it bringing you warm leads? Right. Um, I think anything that you believe could be a good sub two deal is a good start, right? That's our bread and butter. That's where we operate the fastest is somebody that needs to sell sub two. Um, obviously we do cash. We do, seller finance, but um, what we're primarily focusing on is getting really niched down into the sub two stuff right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys have warm leads or something you think, you know, even if it's like an uncle or a brother, I, we've had those where people are like, I need to sell my house and we're able to help them 
get through that transaction because as you know, it's not as simple as just writing up the contract. There's a lot of moving parts and fully understanding how to protect everybody in the transaction is important. So uh, we like to teach people. We want to educate everyone we work with if they need it so that they are better armed to deal with these problems as they come up. Nick, thank you, brother. I appreciate this. This is awesome. It highlights that somebody being a team member on somebody else's team, basically creating a partnership with other people can do this with limited time. Basically no, no budget. Like you're not spending any money from my understanding on lead generation other than the money you're making is going and spending money on marketing. So you didn't have to come out of pocket, really anything. And you can still make six figures while working at your W2. Has it been fulfilling making some of the best friends of your life? Yes, it's been very fulfilling. It, it almost uh, seems too good to be true. Um, I know a lot of people feel like the sub two maybe isn't what it's all hyped up to be. And I feel bad for those people because they're missing out. It's been, it's been awesome. It's everything is, it, is it's been advertised. So. Yeah. And I think I actually had somebody email me the other day said pace uh, sub two is a bait and switch. And I was like, Ooh, clickbait. I like it. What, what are we, what, yeah. what's the email? <laughs> and I read the email and he said, I, everything that you advertise on in sub two and you talk about and the community talks about and the people at seminars and I meet all these people are talking about sub two is the greatest thing. He's like, I joined it expecting to be disappointed, but I joined it saying that you didn't even tell me 10% of what is possible inside of sub two with all the friends and the people that I'll meet and the team members. Like, could you have met some of these people on your own over your own time frame? Maybe, maybe not, probably not. And would you have had the same culture and understanding and the same guidelines and the, and the same community? No, would not have happened. And so really the benefit of sub two is, yeah, great. A lot of creative finance education. We teach way more than all of that. Obviously, Nick, you know that, but it's about the people that you're meeting and they're vetted, amazing go-givers. Um, and I love that you got, I love the name What's the, is the team name the Gorilla Team or is it Wholesale Gorillas? What is it? Um, well, our website is gogorillas.com and it's spelled with a G-U-E, like the like wartime gorillas uh, versus mm -hmm. like gorilla. It can be kind of confusing, but yeah. I love uh, that. Okay, cool. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. This was an awesome episode. I think it'll highlight to a lot of people that it is not hard to do this. It is, it is hard. I should say that it's hard, but it's not complicated. It's very simple. You can go and be on the team. How much time do you think you're spending on a day being on this team? A couple hours? I'd say a week right now, I'm spending less than 10 hours. Wow. But it took a while to get there, right? And you can't give up. There were several times where I felt very discouraged, but I knew that the alternative was go back to work for the rest of my life. So mm -hmm. when you weigh the two things, it's like I could just work at a W-2, for the rest of my life and maybe have a retirement who knows maybe the company you work for goes out of business or you could take control over it and stop giving yourself excuses to not do the thing that you actually want to do what are your i mean what are you going to do uh go back to you know youtube shorts and netflix and complain or take action so yeah i am uh, very motivated to get to where i want to go and this year is going to be my last year as a w2 employee so yes it's going to be uh I'm, I'm really nervous but excited and um Deciding the date is the problem. So I need to need to do that very soon. Mm, dude, proud of you. Super proud of you. Thanks for coming on the show.